racism is a problem that is stemming from sin. So no matter if it's black against white, white against black, we must understand that the war that's going on is not between flesh and blood. It's a sin problem. When a person does not know Christ as their Lord and Savior, they don't know what love is. When you don't know what love is, you're not able to view others with the mindset of being equal. There's no sense of equality. Uh, a person will, in their mind, think that they're superior to the other. So when a person does not have Christ in their life, they're not able to perceive that God is not a respecter of person. God sees us all equally as it pertains to color. Now we all know that we're not all children of God until we receive Christ as our Lord and Savior. But we are all equal in his sight as it pertains to race. So if we uh, begin to share the message of Jesus Christ, when we preach the cross, hallelujah, that's when we'll begin to see changes because protesting, killing, uh, marching, doing all of these things really hold no value. They really hold no weight. But when we begin to share Jesus Christ and we begin to display the characteristics of Jesus Christ, then we'll see a change taking place in this world. Uh, one other thing that I must dispel, a lot of people are beginning to take on the mindset that Christianity is a white man's religion and that it was made to control people. See, that's when, uh, or should I say you're wrong, um, you're, you're walking in a, a state of ignorance and, and foolish thinking when you think that Christianity is a white man's religion. Ah, uh, yeah, skandoroshke. I, I dare you, hallelujah, you who have come to that conclusion in your mind to give Jesus a try, to get filled with the Holy Ghost and get the word of God on the inside, you'll begin to understand the truth, hallelujah, about Christians, about the word of God, about Jesus and how he loves us. There's a song that says, oh, how he loves us. Hallelujah. Truly, he loves us more than the natural mind can perceive. But until you surrender, hallelujah, you're all unto him and allow his spirit to do a work on the inside of you. You will remain bound in your thinking. You remain captive in your thoughts, thinking that Christianity is a white man's religion. Again, I say unto you, it will take Jesus Christ being in your life to understand that the war that's going on, that the racism that's going on, whether between black or white, white or black, it's a sin problem. It's not a skin problem. It's a sin problem. It's not a skin problem.